Welcome back to Breakfast Television. My name is Sid Sixero. Bitcoin mining. If you've been keeping up with mainstream media, the term is being thrown around and seems to be getting discussed left and right. What is Bitcoin mining? I don't know. Is it bad for the environment? I don't know. We're joined today by someone who's going to give us hopefully some answers. I can, I can assure you he's going to give us some answers. The president of netcoins.ca, uh, Mitchell Demeter, is joining us to explain Bitcoin mining's environmental impact. Mitchell, thank you. Great to see you this morning. I, I have questions. There's a lot of lay people like me probably watching this who say, well, okay, so we have a digital currency that has to be mined in a way where, where it affects the planet in some way. Well, so start from the beginning. What do, what do I need to know about, about mining for Bitcoin? So thanks for having me on. Um, Bitcoin mining is essentially the process of creating new Bitcoin. Uh, miners secure the Bitcoin network and process transactions that are happening around the world. And these miners use specialized computers to basically solve complex math problems. When the problems are solved, the miners rewarded with new Bitcoin as it's being released into circulation. So, so the amount of, of calculations that go into the Bitcoin are so great you almost, need, I don't want to use the term supercomputer, but you need computers at a certain level to help build this code and create the currency. Is that a, is that a fair, correct me if I'm wrong, is that a fair yeah. way to describe it? Yeah, yeah, that, that makes, that's exactly it. Basically, they're, they're processing all the transactions that are happening around the world, and, uh, and they are specialized computers, um, and, and they do consume a, a large amount of energy. Um, it actually, the transparency of the Bitcoin protocol makes it a little bit easier to point the finger at compared to other industries. Um, basically, you can see exactly how much energy is being used by the network at all times. And so... Other industries like the legacy banking finance or banking system or gold mining, um, these industries are a lot harder to quantify. And, and so it, it's, it's tough to make a comparison directly because we don't have a clear insight into how much these industries are using. But, um, but overall, Bitcoin Network is using much less energy and, uh, and it's actively moving to more and more sustainable or sources of energy. Okay, because there, there are people concerned at the level of energy that this is taking up. I mean, I, I read a story out in New York where uh, one of these mining uh, factories, for lack of a better term, that the energy that was being produced was so great, you could, the lake was warm next to it. Like, you could feel it. You could physically touch it. But you're, you're saying there, there are also ways where this can get done in a more clean and efficient manner. Yeah, absolutely. So, so Bitcoin miners are location agnostic. Uh, they're incentivized to drive their costs down as far as possible, so they seek out cheap forms of energy. Um, this is often stranded renewables like hydroelectric or geothermal in remote locations like Iceland, where the energy wouldn't otherwise be used, and so the miners can get it cheap. Fair enough. Um, all right, so generally, Mitchell, before, before you go, and I, it seems like I ask this every time, we have about 45 seconds, good time to get in a digital currency, kind of lukewarm time to get in, how would you describe it? Yeah, it's so so the market is softer than it was earlier this year, and uh, there has been a lot of concern about the energy use. Um, but overall, the um, the economics of the Bitcoin protocol incentivize miners to source out renewable energy, and uh, yeah, I think it's a it's a great time um, in my mind. Um, you know, the, the price is a bit lower than it has. And you know, I always recommend that, uh, you know, new people trying to learn about the industry come to netcoins.ca and uh, check out the Crypto Academy that we've built. Uh, the team's done an incredible job making it easy for people to buy, sell, and understand Bitcoin at netcoins.ca. Mitchell Demeter, president of netcoins.ca. Uh, head there for, for all your questions and concerns. And if you want to get started, there's, uh, there's a plan uh, for everyone on that website. Mitchell, have a good day. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. All right, we'll talk again soon. We're going to take a break here on Breakfast Television. The big news in this country yesterday, for the first time since March of last year, Americans will be allowed into Canada as of August 9th, as long as they're fully vaccinated, going back 14 days. Are you comfortable opening up the Canadian border to fully vaxxed Americans? It's complicated. 1-866-267-3797. Feedback at breakfasttelevision.ca, at Breakfast TV on Twitter. You sound enough coming up a little later on. More BT coming up after this.